Hi, I'm Jim Warrell from the Cabal Online Europe GM team, and I'm here to show you just a little bit of the new update. Now, Saints Requiem is already live on our server, but this part of it will only you will only be able to see it tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, for the first time. I am, of course, talking about the new boss and that new area in Lakeside. Okay, you can see we're waiting here because one of the things about the new boss is that it's an open world boss and five minutes before it is due to appear there will be a system message broadcast warning of its imminent arrival so you have time to prepare yourself okay you can see there's four of us here prosyan side well, there's only prosyan for this for this podcast it makes it easier i'm also making use of pre-recorded footage so i can cut out the boring bit in the middle where we're just hitting the boss to kill it will be a, a bit more exciting on the live server since you will be fighting with each other as well. Okay, you can also see the new lightsaber weapon skins. And the greatsword especially is quite cool looking, I think. And on the right there you can see the wizard with the staff. Okay, there we go. Five minutes to appearance. As I was saying, the wizard is using the Saints for Scalibur. It looks exactly like a legacy weapon. He has some slightly different stats on it, and of course, the ability to give the Saints Force buff. Okay, now I suspect many of you will be seeing this little route a couple of times this weekend. The boss will take some killing, it's not an easy thing to take down. You're going to need a lot of help, but luckily I'm sure this will be very well represented by both nations. And if you're not yet aware, yes, the area is right in the middle of Lakeside. You access it by clicking on the statue near the Illusion Castle entrance. But this part of it, everybody should be familiar with. Okay, let's see, maybe Burderk is up. No, it looks like someone has already killed it earlier today. Okay, moving along. As I said, past the Capella spawn, there's only Procyon here for the purpose of this exercise. I just want to show you what the boss looks like, where it appears, what it's like to fight it, and some of the cool stuff you can get. Right, Procyon spawn, spawn area. Obviously the nation that holds the winning bonus will have quite the advantage, but that just gives you something to fight for in the war. Okay, moving across, you can see it's really small, it's really tight. There is the Capella spawn area. There is not a lot of room to move, so I am very, very curious to see how this will play out on the live server. I mean, this is going to be one intense fighting area. Okay, buffing up. Of course, now here on the test server, we have the luxury of just standing around and waiting. No big deal. Yeah, there you get another close look at the staff. Sure, that's a very familiar sight. And in the background there is the Golden Sunset. I suspect this is partly why they named the boss Vicaliton of the Golden Sunset. And there it appears. Now you can see in the middle of the screen there, at the same time there appears a bar showing which side has done the most damage to it. This one it's obviously on 50-50. This is because only the nation that did the most damage to the boss will be allowed to pick up the Saints Force Calibre. Okay, let's start the fight. I'll probably I'll wait for the little ones to spawn just to show that to you. Blender Coons kicking in. Another nice part of the update is of course that you can have multiple Blender Coons active at the same time. It's not just limited to one anymore. Okay, every 30 seconds the boss will spawn three small bosses. Basically the medium and small guardians from the mission world. So any moment now they should appear. Luckily, or unluckily, they do not spawn right on top of the boss, they spawn back near the start where we were. Yeah, there we go. Now what's nice about these is that they, each of them when killed, they do drop a lot of loot. So you will have to choose if you're going to help your nation fight and actually get a bit of prestige and honor, or you're just going to come here to farm. And they... Well, we'll see how... I'll cut off more this just to see you there, just to show you the end result of this. Let's see. 
you know, you can see the small guardians appearing as well. And you can already see some of the cores and stuff dropping. Pushing up experience back there. Okay, this is in the closer to the end of it. And you can see on the ground. I mean, let's look at that. And that's what you're there for, partly. Oh, someone looted. Oh, let's just roll the dice there. In the field of cores. That's a lot. You're gonna have to be here to get some of that. In case people are not motivated enough by honor and prestige. But we know I know I know everybody will be here just to get some bragging rights. No one will care about the cores or the potions. Experience, AXP, you know. Okay, that's quite a nice view of that field. Let's zoom in. Yeah. That's quite pretty. I doubt it will look like that in live, but that's good to see it. Okay. Right, moving right to the end of the boss fight. It's about to die. I thought you wouldn't like to see the middle bit, which is basically just us attacking it. It doesn't make for terribly exciting viewing. And any moment now... Yes, and there it goes. Again, system message. Procyon has defeated the Kalatan of the Golden Sunset. And there it is, Saints Force Calibre. Hovering in the air. Another cool thing is that for 30 seconds after the boss is down, that weapon cannot be picked up. No one can get it. See, you are not authorized to take the item. 30 seconds has to pass. So I think this is going to turn into a game of last man standing. And there we go. I've looted it. And again, a nice broadcast for the whole server to know. There's some stats on it. It's a pretty good, it's a really good weapon. And of course it also allows you to give that buff. Let me just equip it here. Wait, let's have a look at that. Seven days of course, up to next week when it spawns again. There you go, now that's a familiar sight. I'm sure you're well, well familiar with what the legacy weapons look like. Here we go on the special tab, Saints Force Calibre. Saints Force. It's not quite a GM buff. But it's close. It has. It is really nice. And there you go, just testing that out. And of course it has quite a cool time on it, but it also has a rather big area. You can buff up to 30 people at a time if they're close enough. So whoever gets this is going to be really popular. And everybody on the server will know who you are. Right, that's about it. So that's what you have to look forward to tomorrow. I will be on one of the servers, just to have a look. And I do believe, I really believe that this is going to be some exciting gaming. So we're going to see some really epic battles. I know we've organized some GM wars in the past, but well, this gives you a target to aim for. You're going to fight the boss, you're going to fight each other. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun. Guys, good luck, and good luck to gain that weapon. Let's see who gets it on each of the servers. And that is it from my side. I hope you enjoyed watching this very brief preview for tomorrow. Have fun, good luck, goodbye.